And welcome back by Brave Knights, Princes and Princesses to Doorways. Holy mountains of flesh. The village school seemed way too large for a town like this. It was a wrecked, torn down building seemingly abandoned years ago. The ruins show signs that El Chacal's population had grown in the past years. But something made it fall into decline at some point. Maybe the answer lay in the Taurus family rise to power. When we last left off, we were in a school, wandering around. Hopefully we don't have to do that in this episode. But if we do, I know where to look. Also, I know what we have to do once we get up to the monster, we have to find a light switch, which apparently was right next to my nose when I was playing it earlier. I've been keeping away from this game a little bit because this game, even though I enjoy it, it's hard. <laughs> because they kind of just drop you into it. And you're left kind of like, what? So, let's go. Yeah, the light switches. Oh yeah, I forgot the sensitivity in this is horrible. Light switch is right there. Because of the fact that I'm playing this game with such high brightness, because that's how I like because I can see everything. I'm just going to. That's right, this game's so I can just freely walk now. Oh! I'm okay. Apparently, OBS's frames are like. So, this is. This is, um, Hieronimo, or, yeah, Hieronimo, as they pronounce his name. That's a staircase. I'm feeling we're gonna end up going up it. But I like exploring. So yeah, as you can see, there's no more audio lag. I fixed that problem, finally. Turns out, as I said on another video, it was... Um... My power saving. I turned it to power saving mode. My laptop was on power saving mode. So I had to... Fix that. So apparently, from what I've been t told, this village resorted to cannibalism, apparently, which is not pleasant. Okay, so before I go anywhere, I learned my lesson last episode, although I feel like my, I'm not good that even though I've learned to look around and look harder than I usually do, that I'm going to be embarrassed anyway. So... Place... Dross... Where, where is Julieta? That's an excellent question. Alright, everyone get to your seats. Oh wait. <laughs> the class is in session.
Right, so that seems to be all we have for this side. Besides the fact that I'm an idiot and I don't look around hard enough. I do like this game. But like I said, the only qualm I have with it so far is the fact that it just drops you into nowhere, really, and you don't really know what you're supposed to do. So, that's the only qualm I have with it at the moment. I kind of like how the rooms brighten up. Okay, there's a lag spike there. That's because the game world is generating. Now, can I step foot in here or is the monster in here? Because it's kind of, there are shadows in here. I'll come up back here in here later. How about that? I don't trust shadows right now. The bones in there, and an altar of some sort. That's disturbing. Welp. I don't want to step a foot in here. Looks like there's something over there. There is a light over there, though. Do I want to risk it? Looks like there's a red switch over there. Okay, no, I don't, because he's right there. Okay. I'm going. <laughs> yeah, last time I said he wasn't that scary. Turns out, I haven't played this in a while, so he's scary again. somewhere that we have to find to turn on the lights in that one room. That I'm thinking about this too hard and there's a picture of a nebula right there. Or maybe there's a switch in somewhere in there that I'm not looking at. Oh, I can't tip this over. It's lame. So I don't want to get mauled by him. Is there another way in here somewhere? There's a switch over there. But the, wait, 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 hold it. Push, push, push. Okay. And I consider that a good thing I pushed it over here. I don't feel safe. I don't think I could head straight to that light over there, I mean. <sighs> I don't feel safe right now. I mean, he doesn't look scared, but the fact that he just fades in front of you is what scares me. So, I have to be brave and have to face my fear of the unknown, even though I know what the monster is, I just haven't seen him in a while. I can't see. I want that switch thing over there. Am I gonna reflect the light from here?
uh, plug it in. <laughs> so I'm thinking. Plug the leg it in. I'm kind of thinking we're supposed to do that with that one too over there. Then we pushed over there, maybe? I don't know. Grab the plug, plug it in, do something. Oh, I get it. I get you now. Just trying to make more light, I see. I get you now. Can't pull it to the left or right. Alright, so expanded the lights some more. I might be overthinking this. Okay, he's right there. Okay, that's 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 a little unfair. But is there another one over there somewhere? No. I don't think we could plug in this TV, but um. Oh, <laughs> now it does it. <sighs> yeah. So we did that. And so he can only come out in shadows, so that's good to know. But I did all that and now I'm like, what now? <laughs> well, I guess it's time to look at the floors until something glows. Passing over everything, though. <laughs> Funny if he was hiding under this scene, he just looks up at you and it disappears. That would have been quite horrifying. So was the point of this whole room just to scare him off, because that's kind of lame.
you know, I don't like wandering around like this. I mean, I would hope there was a door or something somewhere. But usually the solution is right under my nose or something. That's why exploring in this game is kind of a little while I'm like happily exploring, but then after a while I'm just kind of like, um, what now? But we turned on those lights. We still can't get into this room. Okay, there's nothing under the stairs. That would make me upset myself if I looked under. If I just, perchance, looked under the stairs, I was like, "Oh, hey, there's a key there." I would have face bombed so hard. Like I said, I like this game, it's interesting, but the fact that you're wandering around aimlessly until you either stumble upon something randomly is a little bit annoying. Because eventually I'm just going to end up having to consult the walkthrough again. I don't want to do that. why I'd say that they should implement a hint system into this game. People like me who get so confused and lost that they need stuff like that. Like you do. Like if we, for example, pressed H for hint, the game said well, you haven't explored X, Y, I should go here. Or like the key is in stairs, something like that. And the point is not that we somehow know where the key is even though we've never been to the place before. The point is that people like me get lost. And then we get a little upset because we feel like we're wasting everybody's time. So yeah, we've scared that guy out of that room, so... Once again, I find myself saying what was the point of all that. If you can have me scare someone out of a room, there has to be something in there that's important. I mean, I'm glad I solved that puzzle, but seriously... Oh, I would die if I looked into look just looking at trash can in there with my solution. I would just, I would just sit back and sigh, just look up into the ceiling and say, "Take me, take me now." <laughs> All right. Well, look in here one more time before I decide to check the walkthrough again because the guy I'm watching somehow finds I mean he does miss a few things that I found like he didn't flip the hatch I found
I mean, I kept trying to plug this thing in, and finally I looked down again and removed that thing over there, and all of a sudden it could be plugged. Just like that. I mean, if that, this was me in real life, I would try to kick down the locked doors at least. Why? Because that's the problem with survival horror games. They aren't. They don't try to be realistic with you. It's most of them. There are some that are nice to let you kick down doors, but they won't let you kick down every single one of them. Because that would be just too much work for the developers. I would flip if I found a note and said, in here is enclosed a key, blah blah blah. I would just sit there and just be like, wow. So there is a key. <laughs> I don't know. I wish I had kicked down the door option. It'd make me feel ten times better about myself. And my life. But I'm not gonna waste any more time. Wandering around's fun and all, but it gets tiring eventually. Let's have to go back now, because I've lit a full place. I don't see why I should go back though. Oh, I would. It, it would be interesting if I actually came back here and then I pulled on one of these doors and they opened finally because he did something. I know cripples, and I know that they aren't as bad as people make them out to be. They're just misunderstood. But this is back in the day, probably, when people didn't really think like that. Oh. I just want some key, please. So help me look on one of these desks and there's a key or something. I just literally lay down and die. That's a tile. It's a lot of, um, chalk and water. I keep saying I'm going to stop, but I keep exploring. Mainly because I want to at least give some effort. Bash in one of the windows. Climb through one of the windows at least, please. Tell me. I spent four, five minutes of you guys' time wandering around. Okay. I think I can freely explore in here. I'm a little bit nervous too. Because see, there's a light switch right there, so I'm a little bit concerned.
Alright, so after after wasting a bunch of time, we have light. But do we have progress? That's the question. That's the question of the day. Can I make progress now? Is that looking like a fool? Sorry about that. Game black spiked a second there. Um. Um. Oh. I thought I was supposed to climb the. Uh, I thought I was supposed to climb over up the branch. Okay. Okay, so this is a timing thing. Okay, we can run now, good. Right, I'll be back. I'm gonna do this part of the next episode, because I believe I've wasted enough of you guys this time for this one, so leave a like and subscribe, because there's always room for one more.